Hey everyone, welcome into this week's one, two, three, entitled "You Must Be Born Again," and that comes from our one verse, John three, verse three. Now Jesus is here with Nicodemus, who's asking him questions, trying to understand what he's doing, what he's all about, and Jesus answered Nicodemus, "Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God." Now, Jesus wasn't going around telling lies. And so when he says, truly, truly, he said, hey, listen up. What I'm about to say is so profound that if you're not paying close attention, you're probably going to miss it. You're going to misunderstand what I'm trying to say. And that leads us to truth number one. Jesus portrays a paralyzing position. Now consider Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews, who feared the Lord, who obeyed the law, who probably had the law memorized. And let's face it, he was more righteous than you and me. And yet Jesus says that he's not good enough. As he is, he's not good enough to see the kingdom of God. And if I'm a reader of this, I'm thinking, man, if Nicodemus isn't good enough, I'm in big trouble. In the passage, you can sense Nicodemus's curiosity and confusion and great concern. Well, like, what does this mean to be born again? That, that doesn't sound possible. And that's part of the point that Jesus portrays a paralyzing position. But then so that, truth number two, Jesus alone produces the saving power. Now, all throughout the Gospels, Jesus says, follow me, come after me, give your life to me. We have to make that decisive decision. No one else can do it for us. You know, we have the responsibility to come to Jesus and to urge others to do the same, to come. At the same time, Jesus says, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. And so there's an action that we have to take, but there's also the spirit behind that action. Where does that spirit come from? That's a supernatural work of the heart that can only come from the Holy Spirit. You must be born again, and Jesus alone is the one who can produce that saving power. So come, come to Jesus, and then when we come, we'll see that Jesus deserves all the credit and all the glory. So, truth number one, from Jesus talking with Nicodemus about being born again, he says, Jesus portrays a paralyzing position. And then truth number two, Jesus alone produces the saving power. You must be born again. So, one, two, three, one verse, two truths, three minutes, all for you.